bringt mir ein Netto. Det er godt, ja. Den igen, den så med. Kæmper. Den med. Hvor vil krak med? Med krak eller ikke? Hæ? Med krak eller ikke? Mød, hvad med? Med mød. Okay, da. Okay. Godt, lidt godt, kun lad os sige det. Så er jeg godt lavet. Okay, den så med til mig. Ja, lad os. Ah, okay. Ah, good morning, everyone. Today, we have morning talk. We have morning program to give more knowledge to people. Today, the topic we are talking about, we are talking about uh, education system. Why do we have education for people? The objectives of education to prepare people for the future to develop the people and to enrich the knowledge that's the objectives of education as we know today uh, I have teacher Eddie from England uh, we want to know about education system in UK United Kingdom uh, we want to know uh, education system we want to know uh, what year how old are they they start to go to school in England uh, today we talk about school we talk about subject uh, people or children study in England okay okay well the first experience of school in the UK is nursery school and um, now it's very common to say kindergarten. Kindergarten is a German word which became popular in the United States of America and now we use it in the UK as well. In fact, we use it in Thailand as well, yes. don't we? kindergarten. Yeah. Um, in the UK, when I was small, we didn't say kindergarten, we said nursery oh, school. Oh, nursery. Nursery school. Yes, like a nurse looks after you, so mm. we'd have a nursery school. But real school starts when we are nearly five years old. Five years. And we start primary school start primary school and primary school is the first real experience of school and we start to learn to write to read we start to learn about some science some nature mm, we start to maybe do some sports learn to swim maybe mm, running games and at the end of primary school we maybe start to learn a language maybe French or German so primary school is very important because we learn we learn the skills of writing and reading and mathematics, of course, we learn math at primary school. Mm. After primary school, um, we go on to our secondary school. So we have primary, which means first, secondary, which means second. So we have secondary school. Secondary school, we sometimes call high school as well. So we move on to a secondary school. Secondary school is serious education because we start to learn uh, the subjects that will prepare us for life. As you said, we yes. start to prepare for life yes. and career. Yes. So we start to learn sciences, maths in more detail. We start to study in more detail. We start to learn languages at secondary school. So 
and we start to learn foreign languages. We start to learn about um, IT, using computers, we start to learn about technology in more detail and we improve our reading and writing skills. Is that similar to Thailand? Yeah. Mm. In Thailand, uh, you know, one day, mm. students they take time to study about at least, at least six hours mm. a day. They spend much time uh, at school. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Over six hours. Yes. In Thailand. I think school is easier in the UK. Mm. There is not so much um, pressure mm. and maybe not so much homework. Mm. I think in Thailand, students, they work hard, they study hard, they have a lot of homework. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. So in the UK, it's a little easier, but if you want to do well, mm. you have to decide to study hard. Mm. You have to decide to study hard. Mm. When they finish secondary school, they go to high school? When they finish secondary school, yeah. um, well, the situation has changed, the mm. system changed. Mm. When I finished school, mm. you could finish at age 16. Oh, yeah, 16. And at 16 you could get a job, mm. go to uh, a college to learn a job. Mm. You could go to a vocational college mm. and learn a job. Mm. Some students would go into the military mm. at 16, very young. Mm. And some students would do more high school to prepare for university. And uh, now, the system means that you stay in school until 18. But you can start to learn a job, you can start to learn a career, you can study uh, math and science and English up to 18. Um, or you can specialize in a career. So there is a lot of choice. There are many decisions that students must make in the final years, the final three years of school. Five years. The final two or three years should be preparation for the next step, preparation for career, job or university. Uh, in Thailand, uh, children they spend time at school, uh, you know, 12 years mm. after they go to university. Yes. They are about 18 years. Yes. They finish high school. After they move to, they move to university. Yes. Yeah. And now we want to know about university in England. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard before, the first year student, we say freshman. Freshman, yes. Second yes. year student, so, sophomore. Sophomore, or yes. Sophomore, that's we right. Say sophomore. Yes. Yeah. A third year student, we say uh, junior. Junior year, yes, I think junior. so. And yes. last year, uh, fourth year student, we say Senior. That's right. Uh, yeah. Senior. Yeah. I, I yeah. heard before. Yeah, these again, yeah. these are American um, terms, uh, American words, yeah. which in the UK yeah. we started to use as yeah. well. So, yes, you're right. First year of university, you are a freshman or a fresher. Oh, fresher. Fresher in fresh the UK. Fresh and you have a fresher's party mm -hmm. and a fresher's fair, and you live in fresher mm. accommodation. Mm. Yeah. Um, there is a lot of choice in the UK about university. Um, university is expensive, but there is a lot of choice. Many people will do 
the traditional classic subjects, mm -hmm. economics, philosophy, math, history, and there are also very modern, very modern and new subjects, mm -hmm. management, mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. digital media, mm -hmm. web design, mm -hmm. and then there are mm, artistic, artistic subjects. You can study dance, mm -hmm. you can study theatre, um, graphic design, mm -hmm. computer game design. Mm -hmm. They are all new and modern subjects, but they have. Uh, you can go to university and study these things. Uh, when they finish university, uh, the first degree they have BA degree. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. BA degree stands for Bachelor of Arts.